Guys, seriously, what goes on in your bathrooms? I mean, how dare you guys bitch about what the girls' bathroom looks like in public places? But at least whenever we're in our own restroom, we're somewhat decent to it. You guys, you're the exact opposite. You do the worst things in your own bathroom, at home. I mean, if anybody ever had a doubt, what the supreme sex is, men or women, I've finally come to the conclusion that men have no hypothetical deductive reasoning, meaning if they can't see it, it's not there. It's like trying to play peekaboo with a baby. The baby actually thinks you've disappeared. Apparently, you think your face wash, toilet paper, sunscreen, toll booth change, deodorant, razor, toothbrush, everything in the world will disappear off of the planet Earth if you cannot keep it in view at all times. And what the hell do you have freaking sunscreen out for anyway? And the only thing I can guess is, well, it's soft, it's creamy, you fill in the blank. And what the hell is so damn difficult about aiming your tiny stream of urine in a basin that's more than a foot wide? How much IQ does that take, huh? Disgusting. It's all over the damn floor. At least when women get trashy in the bathroom, they do it in a public restroom that somebody is paid to clean. Hey guys, crazy bitch here. So, me and my boyfriend were getting busy last night, and just before we were going to get to the really good stuff, mm. oh. I looked down and noticed that my one nipple hair had grown in completely. Overnight, it seems. I tried to relax and tell myself that it wasn't a big deal, you know, that, you know, these things happen. But every time I looked down, that one single hair just seemed to be taunting me, <coughs> mocking me, <coughs> just waiting to be discovered and spoil the mood and ruin some really good nookie. I just had to get up, go to the bathroom, and pluck it from existence. I got to thinking about all the other things girls do behind closed doors and I began to wonder what the world would be like if men really knew what their women did when they weren't around.
So men, I'm wondering how you would feel if you found out that your woman was secretly just as gross as you are. Would you feel less pressure to change your own grossness for her? And if not, would you be less bitter about everything? Would you still complain about how long it takes her to get ready? And ladies, seriously, would you be able to continue to pester and remake your man into some sweet, sensitive, metrosexual guy that he isn't, knowing that he knows just how, what a nasty ass you are? What we're talking about is smoke and mirrors, people, and if removing them is truly a step towards true intimacy. Or is it simply TMI? Please post your comments and video responses and tell me what you think. Please subscribe. And I guess I have one last curious question for anybody who can answer it. If the purpose of many hairs is to keep the body warm, what exactly is the purpose of one? Seriously. That's a wrap. You crazy bitch! I'm going to share with you some really weird news. Um, as a matter of fact, you heard about the Jennifer Aniston thing earlier. Well, this is uh, from Chuck Shepard's News of the Weird. Um, we have some strange news of the weird that... Uh, here we are, we're here at the news, for News of the Weird. Excuse me as I belch. Uh, the current one, the lead story from News of the Weird is um, from May 30th, 2010. Um, he, uh, Chuck from News of the Weird says that American families from certain Asian and African cultures continue to ritually circumcise their young daughters through the practice Though the practice is illegal in the U.S. and most of the world, in May, the Bioethics Committee of the American Academy of Pediatrics changed its policy from absolutely banning such surgery to one which would sanction a minor pinprick on girls' genitals, comparable, it said, to ear piercing. So they're going to get their clothes pierced? Wow. Um, with the hope of satisfying parents that, that they would not opt to send the girls to the home countries for full genital mutilation. Ew! I'm sorry, uh, oh god, that, uh, that, that causes me some pain. Now, um, U.S. anti-female circumcision support groups were outraged, said one advocate. We don't let husbands beat their wives just a little bit! Just because their cultures permit wife beating. This was on May 26. Following the storm of criticism, the Academy rescinded the policy change. This is from the New York Times. Can I help it? I don't think it would be safe. It's been in the Clinton Street Theater for quite a while. It probably has fleas. Surgically made.